The, a new city ordinance prohibits the sale of animals in public spaces in the city of Ammon and Idaho Falls. Eyewitness News 3's Braden Wilson tells us why the ordinance was passed. On any given warm Saturday, you might have come here to Eagle Drive and Darrell Avenue, where you would have bought yourself your family pet. Well, that's no longer going to be the case. The city of Ammon and city of Idaho Falls have both passed ordinances which prohibit the sale of animals at public spaces. We really felt a duty to our consumers to limit um, the sale of puppies to make sure that we were only promoting healthy animals that are vetted, that are spayed or neutered and things like that. People in the community had brought forward to us uh, and something that both uh, our local animal shelter and then the privately run humane societies and animal shelters here saw and there was a concern about that for the welfare of the animals. Part of the health concerns for the animals was of parvo, among other animal diseases. Parvo is something that can be spread, lots of deadly diseases with with the uh, animals being sold in those types of places and also just an abundance of dogs being brought in that aren't from reputable breeders into the shelters. Uh, and so that kind of led to the creation of this ordinance. The Bonneville Humane Society is also encouraging people to adopt animals. They say most shelters, including theirs, spray and neuter the animals and make sure they are current on their shots. I would think that it's probably a, a real money saver to, to get it to get an animal from us or the city shelter or wherever mm -hmm. but get a critter that needs a home and discourage people from allowing their animals to breed indiscriminately. The Humane Society encourages potential pet owners to take their time and consider the needs of the animal as well as their own. The adoption of an animal should not be a spur of the moment decision. It is a lifetime commitment for the lifetime of that critter and it's not fair to the animal. In Idaho Falls, I'm Braden Wilson. For more information on this ordinance and how it might impact you, you can find it on our website with this story at news3now.com.